This is hard for me. Because I didn't want to take the break that I've taken. I didn't want to do it. It didn't make me happy. If anything, it just made me feel like the world, like I was disappointing a whole host of people that I didn't want to be disappointing. The main reason I stepped away from my YouTube channel was because I was seeing myself heading down a road I really didn't want to head down. And if I tried to do everything, I was gonna fall flat on my face and get seriously hurt. I am studying teaching, which means I have to go out on teaching rounds, which means anywhere between three to eight weeks inside a school. And that's basically five days a week. Basically, you're doing a full-time job for nothing. And then if any, and if people are like me and also working, I literally went four weeks without a day to myself. That I didn't have time for myself. I didn't have time to make YouTube videos. There was no time. And it was just, I was overwhelmed. I, I had a panic attack in that time, which was not fun. I wasn't at placement. I was working. If I wasn't working, I was planning. If I wasn't planning, I was sleeping, was basically how it went. And while I enjoyed placement and I loved placement, it is just so full on and so some of you may want be wondering, where's the mental health? Well, it's that earlier this year, back in May, I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder. I've known I've had anxiety for the longest time, but it got to the point where I actually had to go see someone about it. It had triggered a depressive state that lasted about two weeks and I I don't want to go through down that path again because I like being a bubbly person. I like being a bright and vibrant person. I like being someone who shows their emotions. I like being a person who wears a heart on her sleeve. I don't like being someone who, who doesn't share their emotions with people, even people I don't know very well. It's just that's who I am. I can't imagine being anything else. And talking about my anxiety on this channel has been something that I've been trying to do for the longest time and I just can't seem to get my words out. Can't seem to describe it in a way that makes sense. Because even to me it doesn't make sense. It was just not, not fun and it's not easy to talk about and I sometimes don't like talking about it. I've always been really good at faking it and pretending that I'm okay when I'm really just not. I didn't realize how bad my nerves and anxiety had gotten until I went out with a few of my friends and there was just so many people that I freaked. I was too afraid to go up and talk to anyone. I am a shy person, an incredibly shy person. I know what you're thinking. You? Shy? Never. When I'm around my friends, you'd be right. However, bring strangers, and I mean any strangers, it doesn't matter what the situation happens to be, or if I am there because it's a YouTube gathering, or the first class at uni, I will not initiate any form of conversation. I need to be opened up by someone else. I need a can opener. I am a can that needs an opener. I need a can opener. So if I'm a room at an event, with a bunch of cans and no can openers, you can bet that I will not make any new friends there. And the weirdest thing about this is that I'm like a magic can. That's not, that's not, not stay open if my can opener leaves too early. I will close up again and you can bet that I will not open up at the next gathering or event. I am a can that has surrounded itself with openers, but I'm still just a can. And I don't think I want to be a can anymore. Being a can isn't good for me. I want to be a can opener. I want to be like all the can openers. I want to be a can opener. It's the best metaphor I've ever come up with to describe how I am in social situations. Because some people will see me as outgoing, brash, even a little bit much. But I'm still just the same insecure person. I'm just around a bunch of people who make me comfortable and who can help me get out of my shell a little bit more and it's uh it's just hard so I know this video is a bit a bit odd a bit all over the place but I think that's what I need it to be I need it to be raw um all over the place no real specific topic except for let's talk mental health so uh, your experiences with mental health down in the comments I plan on making more videos along the let's talk blank Variety and if you want me to talk about something specific whether it be mental health related or other 
related anything if you if it's serious and you want it talked about let me know in the comments and I will try my best to do it I can't guarantee that I will but I want to thank you all for bearing with me and I hope to be posting more regular videos for the foreseeable future and until next time don't stop thinking differently bye inspirational 